Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. Hey guys, it's Michelle Marie with Young Hollywood. We're here at the 2008 American Music Award nomination ceremony hosted by Jimmy Kimmel and also announced by Jesse McCartney and Julianne Huff. Last year, uh, almost uh, to this day, this is a spot where I met the Jonas Brothers and it changed my life forever. So are you a big fan of the Jonas Brothers yourself? You know what? I can't get enough of the, of the Joe Bros, as I call them. Yeah. I know. They're so much fun. Now the new kids on the block are coming up on them. Were you a big fan of them when you were younger, too? No, I wasn't. No. no. Why not? Because <laughs> I'm a man. That's why. What do you think? <laughs> There's one thing that I could stress to young people. It's stay hydrated. You can't drink enough water. Drink water until you explode. You've had an awesome journey yourself. This year has been amazing for you. What has been your feeling throughout the year, if you can really describe it? This has been a very interesting couple of years, sort of reestablishing a new sound and image for myself. And coming across with more of an R&B rhythmic sound and having people accept it, um, you know, with the shock value that there is there, uh, I think is, is pretty cool. I think Elvis was the first white guy I heard singing soul music and he did it for me. I was like five years old singing Blue Suede Shoes. If you were to actually go to the gym and have to play one song on your iPod continuously, what song would you play right now? I'd go with Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Yeah, you're a big MJ fan. Huge. Him and Whitney Houston tied for the most nominations in one year, eight nominations. Wow. Who do you think is going to be the next one to break that? I think if anyone could do it, it would be like a Kanye or when, you know, maybe with the next record. Missy Elliott, I know, is in the studio right now, so that could be explosive when that comes out. Do you have anyone on the horizon that you think you might collaborate with? I'd love to do some stuff with Chris, and I'd love to do some stuff with T-Pain. Transitioning from, you know, the dance world into the music, how has it been for you? It's been actually really great. Everybody's been really welcoming, especially, you know, the country music industry and the other artists. I mean, my goal when I was eight was that I was going to be a country singer by the time I was 19. And I recorded the album before I turned 20. If you were, like, stuck on a deserted island with an album, what would you choose? You 2 or, like, Bruce Springsteen or something. <laughs> Every summer from when I was born to, like, now, we would drive from Utah to Idaho. And it was, like, a 12-hour drive, and my dad would be, like, blasting Bruce Springsteen singing at the top of his lungs like everybody else is asleep and then I would be sitting next to him eating these like candy covered peanuts. Hey what's going on I'm Jesse McCartney. Go online and vote for the 2008 American Music Awards and I'll see you guys there. Hey this is Jimmy Kimmel doing what they call a shout out to Young Hollywood. Word up.